we're going to look at combinations now. Combinations are very similar to permutations, except for permutations, order is important. So with permutations, we're concerned about the order of um, uh, or sequence of something or th objects we're, we're talking about. With combinations, we're not concerned with putting things in order. And to give you an example, if I was to write down three colors, and say red, black, orange, and blue. And I was to ask you what your two favorite colors are, two favorite colors. And of course, everybody would have their own different points of view, but you could choose red and black, um, blue and black, uh, red and orange, for instance. If I chose orange and red, that would actually be the same thing as red and orange, though. So I can't really count them as two different events or two different options. Red and orange is the same as orange and red, therefore it's the same. And if we have four things, we only get six possibilities. So there's only, if you're choosing two favorite colors, there's only six possibilities. Now go back to putting things in order. So with a permutation, if we were to look at how many ways we could put different colors or re let's, instance, let's rearrange the letters R, B, I've uh, got the same color, so it doesn't really count. But let's say that's not a B, let's say that's something else, let's say that's green. We know, so we're going to put orange there. So let's just say we're choosing two colors. We know it's 4P2, which is 4 factorial over 2 factorial, which is actually 12 ways. So there's 12 ways of putting these things in order, and red, blue, RB is different from BR, 12 altogether. But when we're just choosing two colors, there's only six possibilities. So now we introduce a different formula, and it's called the combination formula. So NCR, combination is choose, is N factorial over N minus R factorial, times R factorial, and that is the new formula for combinations. So this question says, if I choose two people to join me on a committee out of a pool of seven people, then how many ways can this be done? Let's just have a look at the seven people. We've got, uh, let me give them numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm just choosing two people. So let's choose two people. We could choose numbers two and three. Uh, we could choose four and six. But of course, I can't choose six and four because that's the same two people. So quite clearly here, order is not important. Four and six being chosen is not different from six and four being chosen. So when order is not important, we go straight to a combination. We've got seven people and we're choosing two. So we go to the, fa the formula, it's going to be seven factorial over 7 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And we know that 7 minus 2 is 5, so it's 5 factorial, 2 factorial. And what we've got is a permutation with a bit of extra. If you look at the red bit here, this is permutation. This will be 7p2, just 7 factorial over 5 factorial, which we know is equal to 7 times 6. And then we've got to divide by the 2 factorial, which is the 2. And we get 21 as our answer. So a lottery is made up of two numbers chosen between 1 and 15. It's a very simple lottery, of course. But of course, if I choose, say, numbers, say the winning numbers are 2 and 13, um, is it any different from 13 and 2? No, it's the same two numbers. Therefore, it doesn't matter what order these numbers come in. The winning numbers are still 2 and 13. Well, I've got 15 numbers to choose from. And I'm only choosing 2, so it's 15 choose 2. So it's going to be 15 factorial over 15 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So 15 factorial over 13 factorial is 15 times 14. And then if I divide by 2, 15 times 7, because 7 14 divided by 2 is 7, is 
105 is your answer. There's 105 different winning combinations. So basically, I, I wanted to make sure a situation where I couldn't lose the lottery and buy 105 tickets. But if I was running the lottery, I'd make sure that the winning number didn't get more than $105 or pounds. If it was one pound per ticket, you'd perhaps give the, the prize as 50 pounds. So how many different ways can I select two kings from the four kings in my hand? So let's just do a little visual of this. There's four kings in my hand. There we go. And we've got the king of hearts, the king of diamonds, the king of spades, and the king of clubs. So of course I could choose the king of hearts with the king of diamonds. That would be one option. The king of hearts and the king of spades. The king of hearts and the king of diamonds. Uh, clubs, sorry. What I can't do now is choose the king of diamonds and king of hearts because I've already got that here. So it's king of clubs and king of diamonds, king of diamonds, king of spades. And the last one is the king of clubs, king of spades. So quite clearly there's six ways. And with the combinations, it's just going to be equal to, um, not that, it's going to be four choose two, which is four factorial divided by four minus two factorial times two factorial. So it's four factorial over two factorial, two factorial, which is six, 24 divided by four. So, interesting question, but it's actually very similar to what we just did. Imagine we've got five cards now in the hand. The extra fifth card is an ace. It doesn't matter which ace it is. We've got king, king, and then two black kings. So the question says, how many ways can I select two cards and get two kings? Well, let's have a look. I can have the king of hearts... And the king of spades, king of hearts, king of diamonds, king of hearts, king of clubs. Can't have uh, spades and hearts, but I can have diamonds and I can have spades and clubs. And the last one I think is king of diamonds, king of clubs. So there's six ways again. So it didn't matter that there was an extra card, the ace of whatever it is. It did not matter because there's still only six ways of selecting two kings out of that pack. And this now helps us with a uh, game of poker. So how many ways of selecting two cards from a standard pack and getting two kings? Well, there's 52 cards in a pack, but it doesn't matter. We've still only got the four kings. And of course, if we choose two cards, we can get the king of hearts, the king of spades, the king of hearts, king of diamonds, king of hearts, king of clubs and so forth we get the king of spades king of clubs king of spades king of diamonds and the last one's the king of spades king of um uh no it's the king of clubs king of diamonds so there's six ways so it didn't matter now that there was 52 cards there's four kings and we're choosing two so four choose two is six okay Game of poker has five cards for each player, and how many ways can I get two kings in my hand of poker? So I know that there's four kings, and I'm going to get two of them to be kings um, in my hand of five cards. So that's two. Now we also have three other cards in poker, so it's five altogether, two plus three is five. Now if you think about a pack of cards, there are four kings. Now how many cards are not kings. Okay, we know there's 52 altogether. Let's say the rest of the cards are here. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. 52 cards altogether, so there's four here that are kings. And there must be 48 cards here, not kings. So they could be any number, aces, queens, jacks, tens, nines, etc., because 48 plus 4 is 52. So four kings, we're choosing two. But out of the 48 remaining cards, we're going to choose three. Because we want the other three cards to be anything but two kings. And the answer works out to be 103,776. 103,776 ways of getting two kings 
in my hand of poker. So a game of cards with five cards for each round. How many ways can I get two cards the same in hand? So it doesn't have to be kings, it could be anything. But we know that there are 13 different numbers in a pack of cards. Going from an ace all the way down to a two, 13. So we want two cards the same. Well, what we did just now was take kings. And we know that that was four choose two. But we could have choose. We could have didn't have to be kings. It could be any one of these. It could be any one of these thirteen numbers. So this would be thirteen. Choose one. We'd multiply it by, and that would be the number of ways two cards the same. That's choosing two cards. Now we've also got three more cards to choose, and we know there's forty-eight cards that wouldn't be the pair. Because if we chose sevens, for instance, there are four sevens in a pack, and there are 48 non-sevens, anything that, except a seven. So again, we do 48 choose three. And four choose two times 13 choose one times 48 choose three is basically this number times 13, which equals one, three, four, nine, Oh, eight, eight. So one million three hundred forty nine thousand and eighty eight.